Good afternoon, good afternoon. I just got back from work and I'm so tired. And then I have to make me something to eat. So, welcome you all. I'm just gonna show you my giant Asian spinach. Look at that. Uh, anybody heard that Texas everything is big? Uh, last year I grow some, but the bugs like to eat them. But this time, I put some uh, liquid seven dust and spray on it, and they done really, really good. But it's still, uh, still as you can see, it still have bugs eating them, but at least they're better than it was last year. So, and that one also there, right there is too big. Uh, yeah, there they are. This plant, I called it Asian spinach. In the Philippines, we call it Kalunai or Colitis. This is like a weedy plant green in color and it is a self sows. I mean it's like you just drop the seed on the ground and they will grow. You you don't have to like taken care of but uh, this seed last year I just throw them on the ground and they just come up on their own and I just till the ground clean it up and they come back pretty good and this food is full of calcium and iron And also, this kind of spinach is, I can cut them, and then the other, uh, uh, the other side is, they can just grow all year long, but this, uh, here in the United States, have a winter time, so I can grow it all year long. And they are really good also for blanching and sauteing or I can put them in a soup which is really is a famous you know food in the Philippines but here I cannot get them here in the store because I am far away from civilization <laughs> but anyway it's a healthy food and it's a keto diet and they said also, manganese and vitamins A and C is uh, this plant can produce. So, I love it. I really do. This is what I use to, cook, to kill the insects in my garden. Okay. This one is too big so I'm gonna cut right there there you go so I cut that part and that one can go that one needs to go and that one needs to go. And that one needs to go. That one needs, that one needs to go too. So, it between. So, all the press, press little one will come out really, really good. 
See how big they are and this is too small and this leaves is too big. So that needs to go. Four more like more leaves coming out. So that's a good thing. Trim it, trim it, trim it. The more you trim, the more they grow good. So this is a good thing for Asian Asian spinach. Is let me put my hands in there. It's really big. It's all around it. And uh, see how little this is. This is growing, growing. But the spinach here, it looks like this green leafy vegetable is so green. But this one is really really a big big bunch right but I'm gonna cook this I'm gonna cut this cut that because this is really huge so I cut that I cut that I boil some water. I'm just going to boil this, blanch it a little bit, and make it a salad. Because that's the way Asian food is. We boil all our vegetable. We don't eat raw like here. Okay, it's a different culture, different people, different kinds of food, different things that they do with their food, so... But it's not a problem. That's the culture. So, whatever you think you're happy to eat, just do it. If you enjoy it, just do it. So, I enjoy doing this. This reminds me when I was a kid. My mom always just go in her garden and pick up something and cook it with rice on it. And... That's it. Okay, I'm gonna drain that. Drain it and then put it in this plate. Then I'm going to cut tomatoes. This is also from my garden. I think just one tomato. So, tomato. This is really good because it's fresh, fresh tomato. You can beat that. Okay. Leave it right there. Sprinkle some salt, salt and pepper, and I have some. Peace sauce. Peace sauce. 
I know this is like weird to Texan, but I'm the only one eating it, so thank you. Salt, black pepper, and fish sauce. That's my kind of like dressing for me. Sauteing Asian spinach. This is a grapeseed oil. Garlic. Salt, beef bouillon, and I have this spinach. I'm the sati in it. Okay, it's like that. It's pretty quick. Since uh, here, sis sesame seed is kind of hurt my stomach. So I have uh, poppy seed. Poppy seed is cheaper over here. So this is only a dollar like one can. So I'm just going to sprinkle this with a poppy seed. And there you go. It's done. It's pretty quick. And there you go. It's ready to be eaten. This is my side dish. And as you can see, there is a poppy seed in there instead of sesame seed. Poppy seed is good for uh, cholesterol, they said. So there it is. Here is my salad. Salad. Mm. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you're having a great and wonderful day and I'll catch with you later. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. God bless you. See you later.